Hi guys, when you think you've covered pretty much every Brexit problem, another one raises its ugly head. So when the UK left the EU, Priti Patel, the Home Secretary at the time, and her party celebrated the ending of freedom of movement. Now this granted EU nationals and British citizens the right to move freely around the bloc to live and work. As the care sector is one that relies heavily on foreign staff, it was a sector deeply impacted both directly and indirectly by Brexit. So to resolve the staffing problem, Boris Johnson's government introduced a new visa system. But as Nick, a caller to Tom Swarbrick's show, points out, it has resulted in a number of problems. Even just two weeks ago, as reported in The Guardian um, and in the Nursing Times, 700 Nigerian nurses being investigated for fake credentials. I mean, it goes on and on and on. Um, I live in a care home. I can tell you now you get many uh, students and workers whose English is barely usable. So how they passed any kind of job interview or student interview, I don't know. It's been a scam and it's been going on for years. Well, the new health and social care workers visa was introduced by Boris Johnson. So it's not that many years that it's been going on for, but it is clearly... Uh, needing tightening up, hence why the government is only now. No, the, work, the work the work side of it is, but the student side. So within the, the care side. homes, yeah. you've got a lot of students, so they're doing their student work and working in care homes. But when you see the level of English, you think, well, how are you a student? You you can't be understanding enough English to do it, uh, uh, and it's an old scam. I, I've I've got friends, ironically, that have done it. So the you've interviews are done, done over what? the the student ones. So for the student ones, what they used to do is do the the interviews over the phone so someone with good english does the interview over the phone but the person that rocks up hasn't got good english and no one goes well hang on a minute you were pretty good at this two weeks ago what's what's happened well i think once they're here it doesn't really matter once they were in as a student they're in as a student see a massive problem here is if we compare what's happened post-brexit with pre-brexit before the before the uk left the european union it could rely on staff from, for example, Eastern Europe. Now, if these people didn't have good English and they used the scam, as uh, Nick was pointing out, they would live in the country for a while and they would improve their English. Now, some of them would return to their home countries, but they would be free to return to Britain again in the future. So what's happening now instead is students are arriving or people are arriving um, on vi- with these visas, but... They, they know that there are restrictions on these visas and we don't know how long they're actually going to stay in the country. So the situation has completely changed. And of course, the care sector, which has something like 150,000 vacancies in it, is desperate for staff. So they're willing to, in many cases, probably overlook people's English and hope that they'll learn on the job. But this is this is detrimental to the care sector because you need people who can speak English to communicate with patients, to communicate with staff, other staff, to be able to to work in the system. You need a certain level of English. Um, this is, once again, you have a sector that desperately needs workers. You can't find them in the local area. So what does the, the care sector do? It imports uh, workers from abroad it hires people from abroad to do the to do the jobs that british people don't want to do or can't do and now their hands are tied where they have to apply for visas expensive visas in some cases and they they have to get whatever staff they can and now this week what the tories have decided is what they're going to do is going to punish these people who are coming in by not allowing them to take their families with them so in the past when there was the UK was a member of the European Union, they could take their family with them to the UK, rebuild their rebuild their lives or build their lives in the United Kingdom, and um, have a good job in the care sector, for example, and grow within that sector. Now, instead, if you have people who are coming in um, because uh, the sector is desperate for them, and there's no protection for them, and there's no real incentive for them to to come to Britain because they're not allowed to bring their families with them. Now, what would be the solution to this? Of course, the solution is to return to something like freedom of movement if you're not going to rejoin the European Union. But once again, freedom of movement used to be both ways. It used to be a benefit for British citizens too. So any new form of freedom of movement would be just for people coming to Britain. But at the moment, there isn't an appetite to be 
open to immigrants. Both the Conservatives and, to a lesser extent, the uh, the Labour Party are talking about bringing down immigration. So, in a sense, making it more difficult, even more difficult, for the care sector to get the, the workers it needs. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.